Good morning, how are you doing? I had an epiphany this morning and I would love to share it with you. It's been something that's been on my mind probably for a few weeks now and I suddenly had a dawning this morning. So um, there's a lot of pressure at the moment I'm feeling to get things in place for next year. And um, after 2020, make 2021 the best year ever. And they can feel that pressure to put things in place now. So to start stuff, to um, really get something going or things like that. And the timing for me is particularly sort of pivotal, I guess, because morning, morning, I'm 40 in November. So not only have I got the two things running alongside each other of like, I've got to make 2021 the best year ever, but also I'm turning 40. So I've got to make sure I do all of the things that I want to do and be and have and get everything in place before I'm 40. So that can feel quite pressurized. That can make you feel really overwhelmed really quickly and like, I don't know what to do first. Also, that can lead to a lot of soul searching of like, why haven't I done this before? Or I should have like sorted this part of my life or I thought I would be further on. And it can be quite um, emotional. It can be quite uh, destructive, I think, sometimes when we feel like we haven't done enough. So suddenly we've got to get stuff going and we've got to do it really quickly. And in particular with 40 for example i had this epiphany which was what if between now and 40 i spent the next 11 months making clear decisions and almost closing things down rearranging things organizing things building some solid roots underground almost so they can start to form and how would that feel how would that version feel and when I was thinking about it I was thinking that would feel really good because I know that when I have those leaps or those um moments in my business body body where I just go oh oh I did it oh that's great it's kind of like a, a you know I'm wearing yellow today, so I'm going to say, you know, it's like that sunflower coming up. We know that there's been a lot of things embedded. We know that there's been a lot of stuff going underground. And this number of 40 or 2021 being the best year ever, I feel at this time of year or just before those moments, we're, it's like that kind of, um, crystal maze thing or morning morning and that crystal maze thing where suddenly the host will go you've got 33 seconds left on the clock go in grab as much as you can do what you can da, 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 and then get out and that makes you feel like you're not grounded that you're not being discerning that you're not actually looking at what's going on that all you're doing is to be there and to be in that moment and um, feel this pressure. So today what I invite you to do is to slow down and to put things in place but not feel like you have to do all of the things between now and next Friday or two weeks from today or whenever that might be because that is enormous and also bear in mind we're all quite tired I mean we're all quite tired at this time of year anyway but given the year that has gone through I think as humans you know there is a lot there has been and there will continue to be doing all of the things and f putting all that additional pressure on yourself is not necessarily going to get you there faster. It's those moments where you feel like, you know when you go out for a walk and, or, okay, let's use a better example because this is fresh in my mind. So I went for a run this morning and I put some really 
warm, toasty leggings on. I put some extra thick socks on. Sleep last night was okay, so I find, felt good. I had a good breakfast beforehand. I layered up, so I found this thermal top, which was great. I was like, oh, I forgot I had that, so I put that on. I put my favorite sports bra on, because, you know, that's pretty essential. Um, I put another vest on, and I actually borrowed this, like, zip-up top um, from Matt. And I've got some new headphones, so I put those on. And because the, th the jacket had a pocket, I could put my phone in there. And it was one of those things that because I had the time and I took the time to prepare and really check in to what I need and what would be most useful, I ran faster this morning. And it was much more enjoyable. It was much more of a like, because oh, I didn't have to worry about all of the other stuff. So instead of feeling like you have to start things and all the rest of it, it's like suddenly people might be, you know, in complete chaos. I mean, this room it's itself, it needs a good sort out. But this is one of my jobs that I want to do um, in, you know, before Christmas, because yes, in the short term, it's not a money making activity. But I know ultimately, once I start to move things around, shift things, check in with things, look at stuff, I always find it interesting when you look at your surroundings in terms of your desk and if that feels good or not. Or sometimes I'll look at something like, who put that on my desk? Or why is that thing that is a representative of something negative? Why am I seeing that in my eye line? And because we're all so busy and we're moving, moving and shaking and shaking and there's so many things to do and execute on, we sometimes forget to be in that moment. So that's all I wanted to share this morning, that you don't have to do all of the things and you don't have to do them immediately. Of course, if you want to, and if you've got a bit of power in yourself and you're actually like, yeah, I, I'm ready to do this and you've got time and energy and space, listen to that, absolutely. And sometimes, you know, I have weird flourishing times you know sometimes I'll wake up on a Saturday morning at half four or something bizarre and I can't get back to sleep and I'll wake up and then I'll suddenly have the most amount of oh you're welcome Farah um you I'll suddenly wake up and I'll have the most amount of inspiration and um I, I don't know why it comes but suddenly it does so it goes with it so these constraints of like I only get my good working ideas between the time of nine and five, it's not necessarily the case. Um, another flip thing on this sort of thing is use this time to really pay attention to what you want. Really pay attention to what is going to be um, your version of success. And that can sound really flippant because again, you know, who are we to think about what we want from this life when the world feels like a crazy pet place? But I tell you what, if you can operate from a place of feeling good and doing good and all the rest of it, you will have that capacity in other areas of your life. Morning. You will have that capacity to be able to serve. And I spoke about it in a podcast the other day where I was saying to Matt, like, I feel like there needs, there's, there's a social part to my business that is brewing and I'm not quite sure what it is, but there's there's a non-profit section to my business, to my brand, and I'm floating around with a lot of ideas at the moment of what I want to do and how I want to use my platform. Um, and yeah, it's, and do you know what? That can only come through when you stop and you pay attention and you think about what that version of success is. And I've always been really clear, especially in the self-development world, where there's this pressure to do more and be flying around the world and having a, you know, a multi-million pound business, even though you only started it a couple of weeks ago, or, you know, have a, a closet full of clothes or things like that. And there are so many nuanced versions of success. There are so many other things that the internet will never know about and um, you know are not impressive on a sales page but for me they are absolutely essential to my well-being and what I want to do in the world. That suddenly became very profound and um, 
yeah, I would love to know what you're going to do. So I'm going to basically, how that works practically, I'm going to clear up my desk. I'm going to get rid of old files. I'm going to create some systems that are going to work better. There's a piece of technology that I want to change in my business because it absolutely drives me bonkers. I'm going to do that before the end of the year. I'm going to really check in with my clients and say, let's talk about all the brilliant things that you've done this year and let's um, use this time to say stuff out loud. And one of the things that I noticed, and I said it on a podcast the other day, is when you do feedback, whether it's with yourself or, you know, in corporate, when somebody takes it through. The first question I needed you this morning, what's your version of success? Yes, Amanda, what is it? And um, yeah, draw it out, sketch it out. And remember, you don't have to figure it out. You, you know, you didn't have to be like Friday the 11th of December was exactly like the moment I had my my light bulb moment. Um, but it could be the start. It could be that first day where you go, ooh, I, I'm, I'm, there's some exploring here. There's some stuff that I need to uh, look into. And that's a really lovely place to be. Um, yeah, and I think the thing about feedback is people go, what went really well for you? And then the second question is like, what didn't go so well? And do you know what, as human beings, we need a bit more time to really consider what went well, because, so I don't know about you, but I can quite, oh, I just did that thing. Oh, it was nothing. Like it just came along. Oh, it was easy really. Like it didn't, uh, you know, I was probably just got lucky. And so when I do this exercise with clients that what didn't go so well or where could you improve or all that sort of stuff, that question gets booted down to question 10, 11, 15, 19, because it's a skill that we all have to learn to go deeper and go, oh my goodness, it's not just about what the money goal was or hitting it or getting the job or getting that approval for somebody or, the, or you know taking the holiday or something like that. It's sometimes knowing that you're in full integrity or sometimes it's saying no when everybody expects you to say yes or really paying attention to what the next irriter, 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 why can't I never say that, irriter, I can't think of what the word is, you know what I'm trying to say, like the next version of you, sometimes it's really paying attention to that person and operating from that place. Anyway, I wish you such a wonderful day, whatever you might be doing. And um, yeah, tune in, not tune out. And all these pressures of the Instagram of having the perfect Christmas and the whole thing and all the rest of it. Um, take from it what you need and ditch the rest. Because actually you might not get going in terms of 2021 until March. You might need a bit of spring heat or a bit of like warm daylight to really get things going. Or you might start January the 1st like, woo, yeah, let's go. But certainly I am not going to be spending between now and 40 when I turn next November thinking about all the things that I'm going to, that I need to do before that age. Because you know what? My feeling is between you and I that when I turn 40, I will hopefully just be getting started. That's the plan. I'm not kind of trying to get to this crescendo moment and then I get there and then I go, ooh, down the other side. Like, oh, that's it for me now. That's it. Life's over. Like, no. Like, let's bring the 40 years that's kind of, like brought me to this place and then let's see what happens yes like a blossoming flower absolutely i hope so um but i do know the power of creating space of closing things down of really paying attention to it and that's what i'm going to be doing between now and 40 and do you know what some of the things that i want to do between now and then they will come as well because the two run alongside each other. You clear space, you make room for it, something else comes in. You say no to this, something else comes in. It's it, it's ever evolving. Anyway, sending you lots of love and thank you for being with me this morning and um, uh, wishing you a wonderful day. And yeah, the 11th of December 2020 could be the start of the next version. All right, lots of love. Bye.